Schlatt's been telling me recently that uh, he's been sort of promoting it. I don't know if, if they're paying him or something, but uh, Dr. Pepper Zero is his favorite soda now. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's so when did you discover it's Dr. So Pepper good. Zero? Are you just... It can't... It's new. It's a new soda oh, that just new? came out, Ted. Yeah, it's fucking new. You never drank it. You wait in line for that like, it, like it's the Apple Store on a new release of the iPhone? No, but I will say this. I, I order online all the time. And they always have it sold out on Walmart. Every every single store, there's a, you can't get a brick and mortar. You gotta you gotta order it online, dude. You gotta uh, wait until Black Friday, and you gotta fight like an old lady, middle aged mom, someone wearing the oh, I'm gonna be stomping over old ladies, oh, over yeah. old men, yeah, getting that Dr Pepper zero. I'll be killing my mom and then my grandma and then quitting my job on Black Friday. Exactly. It's going to get crazy. I want to see videos circling online of Schlatt dragging some pixie-cut middle-aged soccer mom by the hair and tossing her into a fucking shelf at Walmart. I want to see a, I want to see a video on live leak of Schlatt taking a live leak huh? on someone. So the only video you'll find uh, of me on live leak is me just taking a big stinky shit. What's the link? <laughs> Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Did you know that Frozen 2, uh, they like made a coherent movie and then they screened it for audiences and kids didn't like it. They thought it was too much, so they just redid it and scrambled all the scenes back together and Frankenstein it into the abomination now that is Frozen 2. Really? What is as a as a Frozener myself, you know, it just leaves me it leaves me wanting. What was too much about the movie? I don't know, because there's no like real version of it out there. But it's if you've ever watched Frozen Two, it's it's all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. Also, gets on a horse and then gets frozen and then. Wait, time out, Charlie. <laughs> Are you telling me that Elsa gets frozen in Frozen Two? <laughs> yeah. This doesn't this does not compute with me. It's like I, that's what I'm saying. She gets frozen too. It's like, like when I say we on? write a nasty letter. It's like one of one of those memes you see on Twitter where people work in the uh, they they work in the title of the movie into a line that doesn't exist. So you see like Elsa being frozen and she's saying to herself, "Well, I guess that means that I'm frozen too." <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Those are my favorite. I wish we we got to bring that back. I feel like the they kind of went out of style a little bit. Um, if you're listening to the podcast, start start adding us on Twitter. And make some memes of just popular movies. Yeah, and yeah work I love in the when title. Chris Pratt walks on screen and says, The Mario movie. <laughs> it's a me- he just got cast for Garfield, too. Yes, he did. did you see that shit? Oh my God. He's fucking Garfield now? <laughs> a clip of Chris, Chris Pratt walking on the screen as uh, animated Garfield. I guess I'm Pr- Chris Pratt and I love lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> And guess what day it is, too, that they announced this horrid thing on? On a Monday. It's a Monday. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is, you, you know for a fact that they chose to do Pratt that. And Chris Pratt hates explicitly. those. He hates those. Do you think he walked into the office one day and just looked at his watch and was like, fuck, I hate Mondays. And some director just snapped over to him, like, neck fully rotated. <laughs> the only it's requirement you. that the casting director had for the... For the, the we need actors that hate Mondays. It's you. <laughs> Their neck turned like 360 <laughs> degrees. It's like a fucking owl. <laughs> yeah, the FOV changes like that one scene of Peter Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> a fucking quake moment, a dolly zoom. We, we found him. <laughs> Dude, uh, I hope the Garfield movie is just real Chris Pratt kicking dogs and saying, <laughs> fuck you, Odie. <laughs> fuck you, Odie. Oh, I'm going to kick you. Like it's the Cats <laughs> movie? Like it's fucking James Corden in the Cats movie? Yeah, it's yeah. It's Chris oh, no, Pratt. no, no. Better yet. <laughs> like full on cat cat in the hat, just Chris Pratt painted orange. Oh, my God. <laughs> like you're running around the house terrorizing children. I I love, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love James Corden in all of the movies that he gets in because it seems That's that he lie. has a really good track record of being in the movies that everyone hates. Um, and then promoting it in just the worst ways. Have you seen the video on yeah. Twitter of Chris uh, James Corden stopping traffic with the cast of the C- new Cinderella mm. movie, where he is yeah. dressed in a mouse costume and he's shaking his ass at the uh. person in the driver's seat? I saw that. I saw that. I think I saw some sort of Twitter where they were like, "Can you imagine if 
Imagine you're, thinking you're worth stopping traffic. Well, also, what to if promote somebody, your new shitty movie? What if somebody's in that stop traffic for the fucking promotional flash mob, and their wife is in the passenger seat, pregnant with their child? Ted, Ted, I was literally in that traffic jam. Yeah. I was in that traffic jam with a person dying in my car. Yeah. And you know what? What? They're dead. Right They're here. dead now. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> James nope. Corden killed my dad. Oh. I had Prince Philip in the car right here. <laughs> and now and now look what happened to him. And fellas, we gotta we gotta talk about this. I think the Queen's I think the Queen's up next. You've been seeing the articles. You said that last podcast. And you well You've been seeing the articles. You, we, well just, more yeah, articles have kinda, came out. You're 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 really kinda digging in here and it's gonna be really awkward if she doesn't at this point. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, look, you may look, need to put I'll your tell cards you what's gonna be table. really awkward. You you saying that she's not gonna die and then she will die and then you're like, oh well, 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 well look 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 blah blah blah. What do you do? You're doing your commute no. you're doing your commute on a on a nice beginning of the week and you hit a red light and suddenly you just see as this tray of lasagna hits the pavement in front of you and spills open. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and 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 um Chris Pratt crawls out of a of a gutter on all fours and starts lapping it up in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Like a dirty. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna go see the Garfield movie in theaters <laughs> because there's no True. better there's no better way to advertise. Yeah, than like really in your face, sort of. Um, and as you're watching, you're like, "What the hell's going on?" You hear a banging on your windshield. It's James Corden. Yeah, borderline, <laughs> borderline fetishizing objectification of uh, Chris Pratt is what I would need really to get me to see the Garfield movie. Um, and I think that also when the queen dies, um, I would not be surprised if, you know, MI6 is bursting down Schlatt's door right there, um, in the, uh, little OTK office and they're, they got nothing. they're going to, they're they going to burst nothing. down that door. You're going to see James Bond. You're going to and he's going to be screaming at you. What did you do? You I feel like we're dual wielding conversations right now. Well, I just had to get out that <laughs> that last two joke simultaneously. Yeah, saw, where do they where do they connect? I yeah. saw the topic sunrise uh, sunsetting, and I had to get in my last joke, so I combined <laughs> the two conversations into one. That's great. Um, but Charlie, um, on this this is a sp especially special podcast. Um, I would argue because. You're not about to lead my own segment into me, are you? Well, you're not about to. You're not about to say, "Here comes the airplane," and spoon feed me my own my own segment. I put classic in the Ted. Classic are Ted you? to do something classic. like are that. You? No, 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 no. Are you? Candy. Well, yeah, I am because I, I'm really excited about what you I have here. I hate Mondays. And I'll also say, <laughs> and I'll also say that normally we don't have a podcast topic going in, which is why I'm so jazzed. I'm so excited. Usually we get into the, the call, and then we're like. Holy shit, Monday came up. We're a little, bunch of little fucking Garfields munching on some lasagna mm -hmm. and we're scrambling to figure out what the hell we're going to talk about. Um, so well, baby, here's the meat and the cheese and the three layers of thick, thick noodle. I love when you call me baby. Can I can I get an intro, a musical intro from you guys, please? Just acapella me a quick something as we transition into the segment here. Go! Schlatt, take it away. Schlatt, take it away. God, he's just a stone... Statue I'm gonna right need. I'm gonna need at least something from him, or I'm not legally allowed to start. I don't, I don't this even new know segment. if he can hear us right now. He seems to. No, have, he definitely can. No, he he's gone to can. his mind palace. He's thinking about fucking Doctor Pepper Zero and the death of the Queen. She's thinking about Chris Pratt lapping up some Dr. Pepper Zero. Charlie, what's the topic oh, for the podcast today? I, I told, I'm not going to say it until Schlatt gives me something here. I'm not going to walk away empty-handed. Oh, Schlatt, you got to give him something. Otherwise, just we're a not beat, move on. Just a scat. I don't care. A high C, a low C. Could Surely you can give him a scat, man. It's got to be something. Scat man, uh, 2008 <laughs> stick figure animation music. Come on, Schlatt. Let's go. Schlatt. Wait. Oh my God. No, Ted, this is gonna be good. <clears throat> no, I really hope it's good because he's he's making us wait. <sighs> Beep. Oh! Hey! Oh Thank my you so much. God! Thank you so much. Holy Slap. shit! Yeah. Oh my God! Did someone just? <laughs> yeah, he died. <laughs> no. No, that 
was the power button, Ted. Audio listeners, it's over. love you to death. Schlatt just fucking limp-bodied uh, oblivion NPC death on the spot. Schlatt fell just face hit his own his power button with his toe. And he's, I, is, <sighs> do we know anyone where he lives? Is there like anyone we could get out there? Or is this just it? Uh. Like... I don't know. I I would say just let, let's let's oh. begin the let's begin the oh. the grand topic for <laughs> the like podcast. That. All right, all right, all right, guys. I have concocted quite an interesting um quite an interesting bit here. I am going to go through various WikiHow articles I found, and I'm going to step by step lead you through the instructions, tell you the instructions, leaving out the important keywords, and you're gonna have to tell me what their instructions for. Mm. God. Okay, this is the Grand Charlie Game Show. What do you call? What do you call, what do you call this show, Charlie? That we're doing right now. Oh shit, man! I didn't think about it. Uh, uh, so it's it's. I'm looking on WikiHow. What about Wiki? What? <laughs> wiki Wiki what? <laughs> w- wiki Wiki. What's that telling me to do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm getting it in. I'm getting it in. Okay. <clears throat> everyone, everyone, bring it in. Get ready. You two are the contestants. Hello. Uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play the best of three. Okay. First to guess gets it. <coughs> oh, we gotta start a little rivalry first. Ted, your hat looks stupid. Schlatt, you're just kind of a nuisance. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Jesus Christ! Uh, let me pull up a new one. Wiki, how how to manage your anger? That's um, that is the most intense reaction I have ever seen. Schlatt, audio listeners, love you to death. Um, Schlatt just picked up the skeleton that's in his office and Prince Philip and fucking Falcon swung Dude, you it. You better you better hope the Queen isn't watching this. That's gonna give her a heart attack. Dude, the Pope <gasps> the Pope is watching right now. Ooh. Okay, all right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Step one, get a bowl. Okay. <laughs> okay. It needs to be big enough to put water in. All right. Step two, have my cereal. No. <laughs> Step two, pour some water in the bowl. Very important. Not too much. Just about halfway full. Okay. Step three, add ice to the mix. Make sure the ice is in small chunks. Step four, chunks. put an egg in the water. Where do you think this is going? Oh, uh, yeah. uh... We guess in the next step or what this no, is. No, you, you're guessing what for. these are instructions for. Um, I would. I think the first thing that I would, comes to mind is how to peel an egg. Mm, okay, that's actually really good because you do put it in cold water. It's not that though. Okay. You leave it to set for ten minutes. Is step five. Step six, remove the egg from the water. Step seven, mm. drop it. What? Drop the egg. Drop the egg. Is that it? No. Okay. Part two. Part. There's two parts. This is part two. This is a second method of obtaining the first result. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. What are we okay. working with yet? I don't know. <clears throat> part two, cushioning and protecting the egg. Use cereal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Surrounding the egg with cereal can be a surprisingly effective way of distributing the force. Okay, no. The force? <laughs> Interesting. You can also, don't get me wrong, wrap the egg around with wet paper towels or fill four other small bags with the same cereal. Do not put any other eggs inside these bags. <laughs> Step two. Limited to one wrap egg. Wrap the egg. <laughs> St- what, no what other was eggs guess? are you allowed. Guess? You had a guess? Oh, okay, well, okay. No, I mean, All right, I've, got guys. A, I've got another potential guess. Um, oh, okay. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Um, how to prepare an egg for an egg drop? You're you're so close. You're really close with that. That's warm. How to make an Step egg unbreakable. Two, not yet. Wrap the egg in packing material. Okay, bring out the heavy-duty battle uh, bubble wrap. Maybe you try marshmallows or popcorn. What? 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 Right? Okay. You were really close, Ted. You're almost there. I feel like a smart little boy. But Part three. There's a changing third. the way the egg drops. Okay, so it is about an egg drop. Mm-hmm. 
You're you're you were really close. You were really close. Just keep throwing them out and you will you will get it. Create a cradle. Suspend the egg in the center of a box or similar container using a pair of nylon stockings or pantyhose. How to prevent an egg from it? breaking when you drop it. That's exactly <laughs> it. Ta-da! We've got our first winner here on, hey, on Wiki What. Thank you very much. Thank you much. I, I'm hey, so hey, happy hey, to hey. be a contestant here on Wiki Wiki What. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm coming for you, right. Slat. I'm going to. So hold on. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really nervous about my this specific egg breaking. <laughs> what do you, what I'm do you going mean? to wrap it in cereal. That's it's a method. It's I actually like a have, there's zone. many more on this. Sounds like a so, or yeah. wrap it with popcorn. The article is called "How to Drop an Egg Without Breaking It." The first one was the ice method, where you chill the egg. The second one was the method of cushioning and protecting the egg. No the shit. Th the third method was changing <laughs> the way the egg drops by creating a cradle. Or even like I see like an elaborate system of like egg cups and rocks <laughs> oh here. Oh my god. I don't know what kind of princess in the pea bullshit is this. God. Make a parachute. I like it how they have time to to make an illustration for every one of these that exist. And there oh, are do. thousands Dude, of these. That is why I love WikiHouse so much because they have all of the same like stock images that just some poor person out there, some poor unpaid intern is drawing all of. Could, and it's all like the same assets. This could be I a, uh, this could be a section on mogul money just called wiki wiki what where he shows like a he shows a it would be oh yeah this, could be, yeah this could be a really good bit on another show you make me fucking sick man i was okay you charlie this would point. be a great idea What's to give to ludwig people? when he runs his show that you're not on no i was well i was thinking in the context the of you know you know how like ludwig did the uh the thing where he shows the uh Tw uh, the Twitch uh, emote or something, and then people have to guess it. I was like thinking, oh, this would Wiki, work well. Wiki like how? A... How to dig yourself into a fucking hole? <laughs> are you that thin? Ted, you are the worst. Are you Ted, that you're the worst? Skinned? <laughs> Ted, I bet you don't pay bold. your artists. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> are you oh. referencing? Are you referencing that uh, that Twitter? The people's reaction to my Twitter thread for my uh, that video I got coming up. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, there was. I made a. Uh, I made a tweet where I had done. I'm doing this incorrect history thing. And a year and a half mm. ago, I did a, a tweet where I was like, "Anyone who wants to uh, make draw these these demons," and it was a bunch of like vague prompts. And a bunch of people got involved, and then I made it into a. I made it into. They got into the video, and I tagged those people and stuff. And so I did the same thing uh, recently, a year and a half later. And I got it, this never happened before, but I got a bunch of people in my replies that were like, they were like, hey, Ted, why don't you just pay your artists this time? And I was confused because I was like, I'm just doing a little community moment here. And there was I'm just doing mm -hmm. a little exposure. Yeah. Ted, no, you have to pay them. This is going to help their careers exponentially. <laughs> no, I pay my artists. Here's what I do yeah. I promise payment. I don't pay them, and when they ask, I, I tip them five cents on PayPal, yeah, and then charge back. Yeah, no, that's that's you have a really good track so that, record with so that people. they have to pay the twenty dollar credit card. Oh, yeah, refund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just drop them like an egg. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I, it was very interesting though to get that reaction though because it's like I, we all like when we directly commission an artist it was like we pay oh, yeah. we pay them and yeah. i in my experience it's like you pay half of the rate up front so they know they're you're gonna get paid the full amount eventually and like you pay them what their rate is i literally just ask and if i reach out to an artist i ask them what it is but having a voluntary a community contest is not the same thing as reaching out to an artist and offering exposure or something which is not what i do <laughs> Are you um, okay, Mister One Point? You've gone on a little bit of a tangent here. I just want to make sure you're doing okay. Well, it you know you hit me you hit me in a hard spot there because I was like I was thought I was driving myself Sorry, crazy. I, no, I just I, I pictured you on Twitter. a show like Jeopardy, right? And behind your panel, you're just like people keep saying I'm not paying my art. Steve Harvey's just watching you for like three full minutes. <laughs> well, that would be in the context of someone didn't bring it up besides me. Like I just won a point, and I was like, and another thing. Thanks for the point, Steve. Steve Harvey and another thing. People say I don't pay my artists, but here's the thing I feel about that. 
Um, and another thing for all the haters. Yeah, for all the haters out there. <laughs> um, all right. Next round. All right. Are you re- are you ready? Are yeah. you ready for round yes, number two? Yes, yes. I will win this one. What up, Chucklers? We're gonna be talking about today's sponsors for this episode. The first of which is Manscaped. Ho ho ho, gentlemen! The holidays came early here at Manscaped. Manscaped just launched a bunch of new products, including their all new ultra premium body wash and a two in one shampoo and conditioner. It's time to give yourself or someone who needs it the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this balls. holiday season. Balls. Just head over to manscaped.com slash chuckle for 20% off and free shipping. Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. Listen, listen up. No, no, listen. Jingle balls what? to the walls, Charlie, fellas. Charlie, listen. Listen up. I think what's a better way to uh, demonstrate how good these products are is to say that we actually all use them and they're, yeah. they're actually solid products. I've been using Manscaped before they even sponsored any of us. Um, I started with their second lawnmower product. They're up to the 4.0 now. It's got a light. It's got a travel lock. It's got a ceramic blade. It won't cut your nuts up. You could use it on your face too. Uh, oh, deck the balls. Deck the balls. Oh my. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's good products. It's good. Take it from me. Uh, you you will enjoy these products. I use the ball toner, the little squirt, squirt, spray, spray ball toner on your balls, on your nuts. And Manscaped is going beyond the groin with their new ultra premium body wash. It's infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your <clears throat> skin feeling clean, nice, moisturized, manscaped Grace actually really likes the Manscaped cologne, too. So Oh, yeah, the refined cologne, everyone. huh? Mm-hmm, Holiday mm-hmm. season's coming up, so if you're trying to do a stocking stuffer, then get something from Manscaped. You can get any of their little tiny little products for, for making your balls, your skin, your face, your hair, wherever on your pole. body. Your North Pole, your South Pole, Manscaped's making it smell nice because those penguins are pretty gross. You can get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash chuckle. Once again, that's manscaped.com slash chuckle. Those little elves are going to have their hands full with the North Pole, so take care of the South one. Hello, Fresh. Thank you for sponsoring this episode of Chuckle Sandwich. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You can skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. I've done a lot of these guys, trust me. HelloFresh's family-friendly menu is a big win for back-to-school season with easy, delicious recipes for finally some drama-free dinners. Team Star ain't messing with your dinners. Schlatt is a is a dramatic eater. I burnt his bulgogi last night. You can't okay. burn my bulgogi. You can't burn bulgogi. my bulgogi. You can't said, burn my bulgogi. Extra. You left some bulgogi there. You can't burn my bulgogi. Yeah, it's just the whole Lucky thing. for us, HelloFresh gives you a pre-package. Everything everything's already there, right? Everything's already there. It's it's actually the only time I ever cook, and I'm being honest. Uh, I've had HelloFresh for a while. Uh, before they sponsored us, too, we got two good sponsors this time. Um, it's true. I used it in college. And uh, and it's fun. It tastes delicious. And you feel actually proud of yourself for once. <laughs> and not just that, it's a better value. HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than shopping at grocery stores with pre-portioned ingredients that also make sure you don't waste food and you eat what feels good. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 using code Chuckle14. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, baby. Now let's get back to the episode. Okay, Schlott, uh, here we go. This is another how-to. This is a single, single process. There won't be multiple processes processes for this one step one do the sneak attack god how to kill the president (laughs) (laughs) you got it it's the public wiki how article for how to assassinate the president (laughs) you did it i did it they've got art and everything of dude there's just there's blood everywhere i have a guess how is this how is this legal i don't know (laughs) (laughs) they keep getting away with it um, I have a guess. Um, how to stop Garfield, Chris Pratt, once and for all? Uh, no, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but prop, but potentially in the future, this could be one. 
Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> uh, do the sneak attack. Uh, it does say here in the footnotes you get bonus points if you do this when the person doesn't know you're home. What? Yep. Uh, step two. There's turn off had the... a cheat on a significant other. No, but you're, oh. that is kind of in the right direction, really? actually. Yeah. Step two, turn off the lights. <clears throat> this works best if they think you're sleeping or out at a friend's house. How, how to scare a significant other. You are getting really close there, Jay Schlatt. Uh, Alternatively, uh, you can put on a scary costume and then shine a flashlight onto your phrase, a face from across a dark room so they really freak out. How to scare a sig- how to make a significant other think that their your house is haunted. <laughs> no, no, but you are all in the right direction now. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more detail now to what I'm reading. Okay. All right. Okay. Jump up at her when she thinks you're asleep is step three. If you're on a long car ride together or just sitting in front of the TV, pretend to doze off for a few minutes. Wait until you can feel her coming up close to you or even in move, or even moving in towards your face. When she absolutely thinks you're asleep and doesn't suspect anything, let your eyes bulge open and scream at the top of your lungs. If done correctly... You can give no. her a real scare in this unexpected no, way. Dude, how to no. scare your sig- <laughs> how to scare your girlfriend? No, but you're getting really I, warm, are, man. Are, what's the requirements for getting this right? Is it like it has to be word for word? Or like- uh, you're not. You're you're like in the ballpark, but I can't give it to you yet. You will see why oh. when you guess it. All right. Mm. Next, next. Is there any more steps? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find anything here. You're so close. Just keep keep doing guesses. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go through some of these other suggestions. Uh, Put on a clown mask. Um, This will only work if she's the type of kid who is scared of clowns. Um, How to scare your how to scare your children. You're so fucking close, man. You're so close. How to scare a random kid whose house you just (laughs) invaded. I wish WikiHow probably has an article on that. Uh, Let's be honest. How to be a terrifying clown uh, during the, the clown craze of 2016. No, I wish. But maybe that's what they all read. Uh, pick a time when she's completely not expecting it, like when she comes home from school and knows that you're sitting in a reclining chair with your back to her. When she comes over to you, then boom, turn around with a clown mask on and give her a real scare. How to scare your children this Halloween? Mm, you were How to before. instill deep, <laughs> deep fear of clowns into your own kin. Um, <laughs> Option uh, step six. Wait, 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 wait. I got, I got, I got, fastest way to build trauma among your children among the years. <laughs> 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 trauma building 101 wikihow.com. How to make sure your kid leaves the house at 18. <laughs> <laughs> How to make sure your kid runs away. <laughs> Step seven: Put on a mask when she thinks you're sleeping. <laughs> What's with this what sleeping? What are, yeah, <laughs> why is this so consistent? If you tend to sleep in late, and she's in charge of waking you up sometimes, then this is the perfect prank for you. Oh, put how on a to, scary how mask, to, how, like Slenderman. How to uh, get your kids to not bother you while you're sleeping? Oh no, man! I thought you had it. Damn. <clears throat> uh, you've got on the Slenderman mask. Then turn towards your wall and get bundled up in your covers. When she calls your name a few times to wake you up, wait for her to get close. When she's sure you're really dozing, to spring out in your Slender Man mask. She'll definitely scream uh, because she's not expecting it. How? T- oh, man, this is hard, Charlie. I I know, I know. I'm trying to find something here <clears throat> that is... Also, this is like... There's like 20 steps to this. Oh, as wow. It, it sounds like a really tedious process that yeah. requires a lot There's of commitment. Be the, these, I think they're all options. 18 is be the monster under the bed. Um, How to get your children to believe monsters are real? You're on the this... wrong track with children, but significant other or relative was really close. How to scare your relatives this Halloween? No, it's it. it's a her. It's a her, okay? How to scare your number t- wife? Number 20... <laughs> Are we are we are we calling it quits? I man, it sounds okay. So number niche. twenty, number twenty is scare your sister while she sleeps. How to scare women? No, but you're you know what? <laughs> just just guys, just fire some at me. You're so fucking close here. Had once a... once your sister is peacefully fallen into slumber, fire the large scary object to put in her bed. It can be a fake bloody head, a giant snake, a lizard, 
a large spider, or anything you know will freak your sister out. Best pranks place, for your uh, siblings. Yeah, I'll fucking give it to Ted. It's how to scare your sister. <laughs> Fuck you, what Charlie. Do you what do you want? You guys were so close, like no, 60 you're right. different we times. No, you're right. We were. You were, and you, you didn't were. say sister. I yeah. said sister, and you didn't get... S I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm a you little You know what? Pissed. Actually, actually, off. fuck you. Ted, you're still at one. No one gets that point. We're going to need... Uh, I've got... I've got... <laughs> Two All more right. here. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Two more here. Schlatt, if you can get both of these, you can bring it out of the gutter, man. Sweet. Where the clowns are lurking. <laughs> Do you think you're ready? I've been down there too long. <laughs> Starting to make friends with that Georgie kid. Okay. How are we feeling about this so far, by the way, guys? Uh, Terrible. Pretty good. Shit. Terrible. It doesn't make sense. I can see you on Spotify. Playing Giorno <laughs> Spotify. Replaying the Giorno theme, like, <laughs> on repeat. You've had it on repeat for, like, ten yeah, minutes. I have. I have. <clears throat> Method one of this next one, resisting the urge. How to not masturbate. How to stop jerking off. <laughs> How to survive no, not November. <laughs> no, 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 but you're, you're, you're kind of close. Treat your brain brain's cravings like you would treat a toddler who keeps demanding ice cream. Um, Instead of putting effort into battling your urge, find something else to do instead. How to, how to stop eating. How to stop. Oh, you're really, how really to, warm. How to, get, how to end you're really warm. How to end a habit. How to end world hu hunger. How to, how, to, <laughs> how to end a habit. How to stop overeating. To, uh, you, guys are, you guys are in the right direction. I'll keep going. Give you another option at the end of this next one. Uh, step two is find a pet or a loved one. Giving and getting hugs makes you feel better. Instead of the dopamine rush you get from this, hugging can give you a rush, uh, rush of oxycotin. How to stop? Which binge makes you feel better eating? without the regret. You are so close. Let me uh, let me give you something hmm. even closer. How to stop? Uh, remind stress yourself for eating. reasons. How to stop eating fast food? How to stop Ooh, stress you're eating? You're really close. How to stop? Eating. Remind yourself of reasons to avoid this. This is high in fat, high in calories, and high in sugar. It tastes good when you give into it, but won't feel oh, good. How to how to stop eating Carl grilled cheese? What? How cheese? to stop eating Carl's grilled cheese from Mr. Beast Burger? You got it. It's how to stop <laughs> eating Carl's. Grill <laughs> and it has it has here just a step four. Try the Dream Burger instead. <laughs> Oh my God! Um, how to? Uh, let me let me try and find something here that can <clears throat> give yourself. Uh, I feel give like Schlei was little... the closest with the fast food thing. Yeah, it is a food. How it's a stop food. It's ordering high in, high DoorDash. In nope, it's a food. It's high in sugar. How to dessert? You're, how, you're there. How to stop eating chocolate? You got it. That's it. That's it. Oh! How to resist? Hilgers. How to resist chocolate. How to resist chocolate. Article. <laughs> yeah. Let me give you a couple more. The, an um, the antichrist to the uh, to every Dove commercial you see on cable. <laughs> Irresistible silky chocolate. You ever Dude, seen those before? They have some... Yeah. No. You, you ever Look notice a fucking <laughs> drunk PSA image? <laughs> like, <laughs> can I just say I've just got an opinion here. Have you ever noticed how every sort of like chocolatey sort of uh I don't know, like yogurt or like any sort of like chocolate that is marketed towards mm -hmm. middle-aged women is always like delectable indulgence. Like, and it's always marketed as like, relax after you've been done dealing with your kids for 15 hours. True, true. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, and the commercials yeah. are always like the mom like, <laughs> you know, dusting off her hands after after doing yep. some fucking like fifth, Take, after taking out the 50s. trash. Yeah. Just a pool, just a pool of chocolate Stereo. with one stream, one oh, one dripping right source down. of it. Yeah, she, cheat on your husband. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all right to do a little bit of cheating these days. <laughs> 60% cocoa. Fuck your neighbor. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, irresistibly dark and indulgent. And then she's like doing a little like spin a -roo. She She falls into a couch that's just made of chocolate and cocks. Mm. Um, <laughs> Dude, these suggestions are awesome, by the way. Number four is tell people. <laughs> it's just like... 
I'm addicted to chocolate, everybody. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't. Yeah, um, hey, you go on. Hey, uh, uh, Charlie. I can't stop I cheating. really am addicted to chocolate, bro. What can I do? I can't stop uh, being well, delectably Well, you can do indulgent. option two, which is hide it. <laughs> hide the chocolate? Hide but the I know where it is. Hide the chocolate. I don't know if it means hide the chocolate or hide the addiction. Um, oh, that's funny. Don't shop when your resistance is low. <laughs> <laughs> like you got a fucking Geiger counter on your hip for your chocolate resistance. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. It's 2-0 right now, Schlatt. I'll give you I'll give you a couple options here. All right. <sighs> I guys... feel like I'm on the right track. I'm just yeah, not I'm just no, not you've been on it and then at the last second. Damn, that's really rude. That's the sound uh, of Schlatt's Is that dream. Princess Diana? <laughs> Is that Diana and her Harvard slut and her Harvard royal, <laughs> royal family? <laughs> you going shopping? Oh, I hate Mondays. It's another reason to hate France. I think that's where she was, right? France? Yeah. Yeah. Know. Um, You know what? You know what, guys? I'm maybe I'll this. give you. Maybe I'll give you. What, yeah, you are. Because I bet I'm winning. you are. Schlatt, are you enjoying this? You look yeah. like you're having a great time. <laughs> Okay. All right. I've got I've got one final one here. We're gonna do all or nothing, just for shits and giggles, just to give, uh, just to give the boy a port a chance, right, Ted? I mean, okay, okay. Not that he's got one, but we gotta extend an olive branch. You gotta here. throw me a bone. I you do. Gotta throw me a I bone. do. Throw and a, we are in the bo- we are in the bone yard right now. Are you ready for the final sure. WikiHow article? I don't yes. want a sure, man. I yes, wanna, yes. Yeah, Charlie. This is I'm ready. Chuckle I'm Sandwich, ready. and I'm ready to chuckle. <laughs> Come I on. Chuckle. Step one, prepare for the climb. God. Uh, I had to climb Mount Everest. You are, you have the right idea. <clears throat> uh, purchase uh, some helpful supplies in a nearby town you may want to consider recruiting someone to come with you as well how to go hiking how to escape rock bottom (laughs) the town from from spongebob learn the language okay okay um shout (laughs) step to a shout oh oh (laughs) <laughs> no, it's not. Is it? Is it what? Step two is shout. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> wait. So get supplies <laughs> from a nearby town and get shout. ready to climb. Get, ready to get climb. supplies. <laughs> shout. shout. <laughs> okay. Not really working with much here. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ready? <clears throat> Shout to bring your enemy to the ground. That's Who's wrong? The Skyrim. Had a pl- go Skyrim mode. <laughs> You're really, really. <laughs> oh, how to beat a dragon. Had a role play sp- You guys are really close. Okay. Next step use frost magic. You have training and destruction magic spells like ice spike and ice storm can do big damage. How to uh, defeat a flame atronach in Skyrim? No, mm. no, 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 but you're really close. Mm. How Next to step, beat- apply poisons to your weapons. Blinkering poisons are just as effective against this thing as other non undead creatures. How to beat skeletons. <laughs> that's no, that's Let- an undead creature. Well, I already know how to. <clears throat> <laughs> you already did do that live. Uh, uh, fuck! It, it's something that prepare for the. Because it's this is something in Skyrim. I haven't played Skyrim. Frost. You haven't played Skyrim? And you no, said, I and haven't. You said Frost stuff. Frost stuff. How to? Be... I watched Sips play through it it's like a decade ago. At the top of a mountain. I picked one that I thought would be very well known here, but uh, I'm gonna keep going because I think you still have a chance. I've been um, playing a lot of Skyrim recently, so I feel like I should mm-hmm, get this. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I've been. Really? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna get no, it. No, I have. I've been enemy. doing. I've been doing my uh, my go go fun alchemy run. Keep this enemy on the ground with dragon rend. Use health potions when you get low, and before long, they should succumb to the damage and retreat. 
Ready? Is it a dragon? How to beat a dragon? How to beat a frost dragon? How to beat a, uh, really, how to beat a really fire close. dragon? How you're to, really close. How to... Uh, Part two. Part two. Fighting this this enemy at Sovereign Guard. I haven't done the story that much. How to... Oh, shit, man. How to... Oh, how to fight only... How to fight Alduin? You got it. Who's it's Alduin? To, it's, it's the it's main the... antagonist from Skyrim. Slat, I'm so, dude, I'm sorry, man. Give him a, I'm uh, fucking do sorry. Do you have any more? That, that we... How was I supposed to do all I, or nothing I, I, on I, that? I, I haven't played, played the fucking knows. game, I think Charlie. I was like, Come oh, on. Alduin, it's a, it's, everyone knows Skyrim. Who's Alduin? It's come out 30 Schlatt's fucking main, times. No, you got to understand. Schlatt's main genre of game of gaming is running simulators. So he's playing, you know, It's like It's like the Ender Dragon, man. I don't know what you want play. I'd be playing simulators. I play I play days which is you just walking in a straight line and slightly altering based on the compass. Yeah. Uh, I play Open TTD, which is you make a bus and you say go between two cities and you watch it. He plays this truck driving rough. simulator where he, yeah. he uses okay. his, his grand wheel and he and he. I got a big old wheel. He's got a big right, wheel. Schlatt, wheel. Schlatt, give me a character or, or category. Give me a category and I'll and I'll pick. All I know from Skyrim is Uthgird. What the fuck is Uthgird? Uthgird is, is the lady. Disease? What is Uthgird? Uthgird is the lady in the bar. Why do you know of all Uthgird things to is, know about is a Skyrim. lady in a bar that you, you can beat in a fight, and then she follows you. No, she becomes you your, little, your little you meadling. You shouldn't know Uthgird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Uthgird the Terrible, I think her name what is. What are you on about, man? Uthgird and is then, not real. And then you say, uh-oh, Uthgird, someone's about to come... Uh, I have to, <laughs> Somebody's about someone's to come. about to come attack us. Somebody's about to come. Someone's about to come attack us, Uthgird. <laughs> Uh, I hope he doesn't take the staff of Magnus from me. Oh! And then, oh, 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 oh my oh, God! There are he you is. Sure, you've never played Skyrim. You're all you're crazy right now. Dude. And then all of a sudden, uh oh, I've come to hello, traveler. I've <laughs> thanks for getting the staff of Magnus from me. Just, I'll be are, taking are that. Are you talking about the College the of Winterhold? He's, it's like he's every character. It's like a, it's like I'm in the game. <laughs> I know. I know, but that's Holy all I know fuck. from Skyrim. Do you get to the cloud awesome. district often? Uh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about this one, guys? Push road dog. <laughs> Dude, nice. Yeah, no, I, but I was I started playing Skyrim again, and I was literally exclusively just doing alchemy for like maybe a week straight, where I would just run mm. around and I would pick up flowers and then see what they made. Um, and I got to level a hundred in alchemy in like six days. Whoa. Wow! Yeah, no, it was it was a it was That's some real degenerate shit. That's the one thing I never shit. did in Skyrim, man. That's the one thing I never did. I always did the enchanting I, stuff. For some reason, I really love that shit in video games. Like like when you're uh, like cooking stuff in Breath of the Wild, I love that shit. Oh, that's fun. That yeah. is fun. Yeah. And that when fun. it gives you the new sound when it when you got a new recipe, and it's like, uh oh, a little bit different yeah. to the tune. Dude, I had <laughs> um, like crack I had for me. so I had so many days that. worth of playtime in Breath of the Wild, and I never even got. And I never even tried to battle any of those big mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Well, because like, they got I to just walk around and, and you just go. Shit. It's awesome. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They got. What were they even called? They got a new uh, the uh, divine, divine beasts. beasts. Yeah. I never even fucking tried one. I I would look at them and be like, Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll, st I'll cook my berries and flowers Ooh. and apples. <laughs> um, I you guys are divine beasts. I just want to say, I really oh, mean. Thank that. you. Oh, I thank guess you. I don't know what, if that's a good. Schlatt, give me a give me a category so I can help you out here and maybe give you a pity point, man. Okay. okay. Just like just anything. <clears throat> I just feel bad. Like this isn't or, even. If you're Ted, maybe a. Never mind. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. A PayPal to the artists I don't pay. What about <laughs> like? What about mm. university? tips like tips to help me through college like what's oh. what's if you can find something in that oh, genre perhaps? category i feel like of all the people college. in this group that you would probably be the least equipped actually mm, actually most in need ah. most in need you're right yes this is gonna be non-college graduate jay schlatt something college related then schlatt are you okay. sure you're ready oh i'm ready i'm ready okay i spent two and a half years in college i know let me, all let there find is a good know. one I have a stupid goddamn degree. So does Ted. How what are we ever going to do with this thing? Hey, guys. All right, well, we all love degrees right look here. Look at me now. I'm doing, yeah. how I'm much, doing, I'm doing how much mileage what? you got out of that slip of paper. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
Oh, At least man. I don't have zero points in wiki what, dude. <laughs> okay. okay, dude. You, you had I'm to trying to find one that's going to be easy enough for you to get and hard enough for Ted not to get, <clears throat> and it's very difficult. Um. My okay. all-seeing eye guesses all. Yeah, no, Charlie, no, by all means, just have another prompt that has, like, fucking Alduin in it. I'll get that. Dude, shut the fuck I'll up. I'll get Alduin. No, that was... That, you, I, didn't, I don't think I even talked sounds to you like guys a, about the fact that I was playing like a the only guy Penny I knew Turner in character, Scott, am I crazy? Alduin. I feel like... <laughs> what, what this is like the, some Susan the, no, and Mary no. test what come up with in their lab. What you Al know from Skyrim? I already forgot their Uthgird name. the Terrible? Yeah, well, that's Uthgird? so niche like. There's no reason why you should know that. I watched... I watched one very specific playthrough a decade ago. Then you should have. Uthgird, what, then Uthgird what, is the only Uthgird character Uthgird I fucking retained. know. Wait, Uthgird. Hold on. You're saying that you watched one specific playthrough? Does that mean that yes. you haven't watched Charlie's banger video, I installed 500 mods into Skyrim? Does that mean that you're not supporting... Friends of the podcast, also known as a second, a, a, a co-host of the podcast, your friend Charlie Slimesicle. Hey, thanks for the resub. What's um, the meaning of this, Schlatt? You can't escape, dude. What the fuck? Hey, tell me. You know All what? Right. Tell All me, right. I'll tell admit me, it. Tell me one I'll pun admit it. I'll I've admit ever it. made. I'll admit it, Charlie. <laughs> Don't admit it. If the video say, was too long. It was too long. I didn't no, watch the whole thing. Dude, I watched, it was too long. Dude, I got high yeah. and I watched that whole thing and it was a good night. Too long. I didn't watch the whole too thing. Long. I don't watch long things. Too I don't long. watch long things. I don't watch long things. What do you, you know? What, you know, Uthgard and you didn't watch Uthgard, my video. Uthgard was part of a, a very sequenced out video. Oh, sequenced hundreds of parts. Out. Are you hundreds incapable of, parts. of sequencing yourself? Hundreds of parts of over, over the span of months. Oh, over the span no. of months that oh, thing no. came out. Well, I'm, going I'm not sitting down and watching I'm one I'm little the video chocolate. about oh, I'm going to eat the chocolate. chocolate Charlie, I, dude, I don't know how whatever to resist the fuck his last name is in a little VR helmet. He's in the metaverse. He's jacked into Mark Zuckerberg's fucking fantasy trades. Boys, please. you. Buy an NFT and make some money, All right. For a Boy, in video. It in. Hold on. Fucking He's like a true hey, pussy quiet who gets coyotes. no bitches and quiet sticks coyotes. no paper. Quiet coyotes, boys. Let me see him now. Quiet coyotes. Show him to me. Schlatt? All right. <laughs> I find it especially ironic, Schlatt, that you, uh, you say you don't watch long things, but you expect people to have watched the podcast this long. We're already at fucking however long. Well, I'm not. I'm, I think I'm worse than most people. Yeah, you're pretty bad. YouTuber that doesn't give retention to other people. That's a real fucking shame. <clears throat> um, but, Charlie, do you, do you even want to give him this? Like, do you even think he's owed a final point here? No, no. But out of the goodness of my fucking <laughs> heart. Dude, mm. he's, he's bringing out his him. fucking heart. Not his normal heart, his fucking heart. This is the one that this he is uses my fuck during You've only sex. seen this. There's one week in the year you've seen this. It was fuck a week. Wow. Yeah. wow. It came out for a minute. Wow. Now it's coming out again. Comes step out for a fucking week, comes out in the bedroom. That's all we know. Step one, Schlatt and mm. Ted. I know you'll probably get this because you watched the Skyrim video. You're <laughs> awesome, man. You're awesome. Thanks, man. Step one is step one is taking initiative. Get to class early, strike up conversation. Oh, sleeping in. You had to make friends in college. Schlatt has very unfortunately gotten it. On his, on his first try here, how to make friends in college. That's two friends in college right there. I think they're probably yep. bonding over this Slime yep. School Skyrim video that they both watched last yeah, night. Yeah, that's something I never... Uh, are we going up? Are we going really, up, Ted? Really love. We're going up? All right. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. See you guys well, on the fucking thanks, moon. Charlie. See you bye. later. Bye. No, bye. Bye, Charlie. I'm catching nope. up. I'm catching up. <laughs> you don't have a chance, man. Oh, it's, I'm coming back down. Fuck, I'm taking off. All right, we're returning. I'm taking off. We're coming back down. Here I go. Audio listeners love you to death. Um, we're using our 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 automatic standing desk to do a visual bit, so sorry about that. But dude, you are literally I think we're, guard right now, or whatever you I, the fuck. Othgird, <laughs> Othgird, <laughs> correcting Othgird, him. Othgird, the terrible. <laughs> you know what this is? You know what this That's is? This quiet. is you. He's a chat. This is chatty you right catty. now. You're a yapping yak, yeah. and I need you to oh, be. Oh, I'm a, a quiet, yapping yak. Put a oh, muzzle you think on I'm a it. Yapping put yak? a muzzle on it. Yeah, I do. Um, Dude, you gotta step. You gotta get in line, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta meet the judge and get some fudge. 
<laughs> Are you, is that is that the one the one video of that lady yes. that, <laughs> the, the really the old woman the, like schizophrenic lady like, yeah potentially <laughs> schizophrenic woman that he's like what's going on and she's like go to the judge and get some fudge you're like what yeah. like the most why'd and you, then they have the oblivion music like playing in the background a, why'd you say it like you were a fucking like halloween killer <laughs> um <laughs> let me try again go to the judge and get some fudge let me try it again Go to the judge and get some page. Hmm? That was good. Yeah. Uh, what else are we even going to talk about today? I mean, we we, 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 we ran out of Charlie's topic. Uh, Schlatt's been an absolutely... Oh, I had, a to- I had another one. I had another one. Oh, sure. Uh, Here. Okay, I actually wrote this down before the podcast. Uh, recommend one thing to everyone listening to this. I thought it could be fun. Mine is my Skyrim video. <laughs> like, recommend... Anything? <laughs> yeah, anything. Reco- just anything. Recommend anything. Wow. Um, I have a real one, but I. So that could be fun. Could be just like fucking Totinos, you know. Go to know. YouTube, look up Mister, followed by hands. Oh God. This was a, this was absolutely a mistake. Yeah, no, a little bit of a mistake. I would say, um, see the East family Coast. friendly. I would say fun <sighs> for the whole family. Yeah, no. Pull up the video. Mr. Hands. Context listeners love you to death. So let's talk about Mr. Hands, the guy that got fucked to death by a horse. Um, I would just awesome. yeah. just okay. thinking about Schlatt, it. That is your one thing you can ever recommend to anyone <laughs> listening to this podcast. I would suggest well, that, that's that's it. That's it. That is now that's what you've that's what you've said. I would suggest to our listeners see the East Coast um in Peak foliage season in the fall. It's a Ooh, very beautiful time of year. Um, I think we're just past the peak foliage season. We're entering November now, um, but it's a good time to 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 see the the foliage. True. What a bunch of different it watch. That's nice. So we've got watch Charlie's YouTube video. <laughs> Look up a guy who that's got fucked my, to death by a horse and see the trees in the season they're, they're bringing... beautiful shades of yellow and red and orange and, oh my god he's been fucked to death by a horse <laughs> <laughs> and hey if you ever see uthgard the terrible in a bar fight her she will be she will be your companion for life <laughs> uh if you ever see an can you egg, marry her in game dunk it in water for 10 minutes i don't know protect it with cereal i bet you wish you could maybe all right. Well, she, she did look awful. You do, you do look like I an Uth girder. My real one, then. I I've been playing this game called Outer Wilds. That's the one I want to recommend to everyone. They go check it out. They've got maybe it pulled up on one monitor. You, you've Mr. talked Hands to me the, about uh, Outer Wilds a lot, and I've never and really gone good. around to check it out. And I feel I feel I feel bad about that. The I feel problem like... with saying it on a podcast is that you can't talk about it because then you ruin the game. Like right. it's it's. The currency is information. You figure it out as you go. It's fucking awesome. I'd say anyone listening, give that a shot. Um, and then I also recommend just going and and uh, and bullying Schlatt about how he hasn't listened to like the one thing I'm proud oh, of. He hasn't please, seen the one. Please thing. come on. What are listen. you proud of? What are you? I proud will of, watch huh? the Minecraft video when it comes the out, mi- Charlie. The Minecraft. It's gonna hunt- be longer. It's gonna be longer. Okay, I said it. Maybe I won't. Maybe yeah. I won't. My uh, like, recommendation you don't even is like long things, man. I don't you're like no long mis- things. I'm no scared Mr. of Hands. long things. I'm scared of long things. Um, my <laughs> real recommendation no, would be to find a candle you enjoy, wake up, play some '40s music, and light the candle and read. Hmm. Hmm. All right. That's really good. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, that's the end of the podcast. <laughs> I'm going up. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Uh, My recommendation is up. <laughs> like, retweet, subscribe, become a Go become up. a become a little chuckler. Uh, My recommendation join, is upward momentum. Everyone join Chuckle Nation. This is where the goodness lies, um, and where the the good boys they never die. Thanks at so much again. At for the Gooey Center. See you next fuck time. Fuck your fuck your friend's husband. <laughs> what?